Embolization is a procedure used to treat liver cancer. Your healthcare team may recommend embolization if surgery isn't an option to remove the cancer. Embolization doesn't usually cure liver cancer, but it can help shrink the tumor and slow its growth. Embolization is usually done by a doctor called an interventional radiologist. You may need to stay in hospital depending on the type of the embolization you have, but some people go home the same day. Before the procedure, you'll likely get medicine through an IV to help you relax, but you'll still be awake. But in some cases, you might have a general anesthetic that puts you to sleep. You might also get antibiotics to prevent an infection. The doctor puts a thin, flexible tube called a catheter into a blood vessel in your arm or leg. They use an imaging test like an x-ray to guide the catheter through your blood vessel until it gets close to the tumor in your liver. Then you might need another x-ray or CT scan to make sure it's in the right place. To do the embolization, the doctor sends particles through the catheter into the tumor. These particles block the tumor's blood supply. Sometimes the particles carry chemotherapy drugs that helps to destroy the tumor. When this type of embolization is done, it's called transarterial chemoembolization or TACE. If the particles deliver radiation to destroy the tumor, this type of embolization is called transarterial radioembolization or TEAR. If you have tear, you might need an appointment to help you and the team plan the procedure. This planning appointment can take about eight hours. The actual procedure is then done on another day. You might feel pain, sick to your stomach, or get a fever during or after the embolization. Your healthcare team will prescribe medicines to help manage these symptoms. After an embolization, the healthcare team will check on you often. They might ask you to lie flat for up to six hours. If you go home the same day as your procedure, you can expect to be at the hospital for about eight hours. After you go home, rest, drink lots of water, and avoid any hard activities. Don't lift more than 2.2 kilograms or about five pounds for at least 10 days. The procedure may make you feel tired for up to three weeks. Call your doctor or nurse or go to the emergency department if you have bad pain, fever, bleeding, or throwing up. You'll have a follow-up ultrasound, MRI, or CT scan in about one to three months. This scan will show how well the embolization worked. Your healthcare team will then let you know if you need more treatments. If you don't, they'll let you know when you need more tests to check on how you're doing. Keep paying attention to how you feel. In rare cases, embolization can cause more damage to your liver. Let your health care team know if you develop any new symptoms. We understand that you have many thoughts and feelings after being diagnosed with liver cancer. Remember, your health care team is here to support you. Reach out to them if you have any questions. To learn more, please visit cirrhosiscare.ca or myhealth.alberta.ca.